this is your first time to the channel, welcome. My name is Scott. I am a practicing physician assistant working in endocrinology, also a type 1 diabetic. If you're interested in diabetes-related news, tech talk, product reviews, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be coming out with new content all of the time. So what we're going to be talking about today is the Tandem T-Slim X3. So this is a device a lot of people are very excited about. It's going to be the next edition after the Tandem X2. So a lot of people are waiting to hear news about this, and there's slowly been some details uh, trickling out about this device. So that's what I wanted to go over today, kind of going over some of the details that have been released, and also add a little bit of speculation about the product that should be coming hopefully sometime in the near future. So let's go the Tandem T-Slim X3. So the first thing that they announced is that there's going to be improved battery life with the X3. Now the X2, the current model, has great battery life. The battery can technically last up to a week, all depending on your usage. This obviously varies from person to person. Uh, some people tell me they're getting three days out of the device. Some people tell me they're getting over a week. The fact that they're going to improve the battery life even more so than what's already on the X2 is really a big deal. So this is going to have better battery life than the existing model. They're going to improve upon that. Now, there's no specifics. I don't know if this means that it's going to last two weeks, a month, but it is going to be better than the current model, the X2. They did announce the X3 will have better battery life on that model. Now, on the topic of battery life, something that I just wanted to mention here. Now, this wasn't officially announced, but the Tandem Mobi, which I talked about in a previous video, it's basically the Tandem's next uh, mini pump that'll be coming out. I'll leave a link to that as well if you wanted to take a look at the details of that. But the Mobi they announced is going to have what's known as inductive charging. So the same way you charge your cell phone, you put it on the little charging mat. The, uh, the Tandem Mobi will have that. Now, the X3 will be released after the Mobi. So my thought is that they may allow the X3 to be charged in a similar fashion. So wirelessly, where you just put it on the charging mat. Again, this is just speculation. They did not announce that. But I think it, it definitely is a possibility with the Mobi going along with the inductive charging. Many smartphones charging this way. It's kind of the future. So I think the X3 may have the same feature. They just didn't officially announce that. So let's talk about USB-C. So if we take a look at the picture that was shared at the R&D event, the Tandem R&D event, they uh, blat very blatantly displayed a USB-C port on the X3 photo. So they all but confirmed this. They didn't officially announce it, but you can see it in the picture there. So it appears as if the Tandem X3 will have USB-C charging. So why is this a big deal? Why should you care? Why is it so much better than the micro USB that the Tandem X2 is using? Well, there's a few reasons. So let's take a look here. So USB-C is really a very big update from a micro USB, like I said, what the X2 is using. So the first thing is that if you're hooking this up to your computer, you're transferring any data, it goes much, much faster. You can see the, da the data transfer rate there compared to micro USB. Um, you don't ever have to worry about plugging it in. I know this is a little thing, but I know I've used a micro USB charge device before it, and uh, just getting it the wrong way and having to flip it around can just be a little bit of a pain, especially if you're doing it often. So USB-C can be inserted either way. And then this is the biggest thing. So USB-C can charge much faster. So it's capable up to 100 watts of power compared to the only 9 watts in a micro USB. So this is really the big thing here. The USB-C is going to allow you to charge your pump much faster. So the current model can take up to an hour, sometimes over an hour to charge a completely dead battery. So having a USB-C charger could significantly cut down on that time. So that's a really big deal. Um, USB-C capability improves the speed of charging. And that's what this device is going to carry. USB-C, as we saw on the side of the model there. So it's going to allow much faster charging and much faster data downloads when you're sharing the information with your computer. So the next thing that the X3 is going to have is it's going to have wireless software updates, meaning you're no longer going to have to hook up your pump to the computer to your laptop to download a new software update. This is all going to be done wirelessly, which just makes the user experience so much more simple, so much easier. Little things like this can really make um, a difference. And if you've ever used a smartphone, if you remember back in the day, maybe I'm aging myself, but you used to have to hook up your iPhone to iTunes to download software updates. And that was such a pain. Most people didn't do it because it was just such a process. So the same thing with pumps. You have to hook it up to download the new software updates. But the next X3 is going to kind of follow with the times here and allow you to do this wirelessly, which I feel is going to enable them to have... Um, more software updates. If there's a small bug they need to fix, they can just send it out. You can wirelessly um, download the new update, just press a button on your pump, and every time there's something that needs to be fixed, they can just send it out. And it just makes the process a lot more simple. So while this doesn't seem like a huge deal, it is something that's going to simplify your life. And I feel like we'll make it easier for Tandem to push new releases and new software updates and, and bug fixes as well. So the next thing that they talked about was having a refreshed user interface. What does that mean? Well, at the event, what they state is they're going to have a modernized 
user interface. So the T-Slim X2 would arguably probably have the, the most user-friendly interface of all the pumps and also probably the prettiest, I would say, the best looking. Um, but it's starting to show its age. It's a few years old now and it's starting to kind of fall behind the times. So what they're going to do is they're basically just going to kind of fancy this up a bit, make it a little bit easier to use and probably just make it look a little bit better. So this is one of the areas that they're going to be working on. No specific details, but they just say a more modern user interface, which will certainly be something that I'm sure most of uh, T-Slim users will definitely welcome. Okay, so one of the last things I wanted to talk about is what they discussed as their enhanced technology that will be included in the new X3. So they talked a lot about the next generation automated insulin delivery, the algorithm, all the plans they have in the future to make this even better than what it currently is. And during the presentation, they discussed that the X3 will be designed to include enhanced technology using, using greater processing power and capacity to support the advanced algorithms. So to me, that's probably the most exciting thing. And that statement right there says a lot. So the X2, the current model, the hardware that's built into that is basically not sophisticated. It's not advanced enough to run this new algorithm that they're going to be using, this new control IQ. It's going to be so sophisticated and require such computing power that they have to upgrade the hardware and this new enhanced technology to be able to run it. So again, they didn't say specifics, but the fact that they... Um, kind of discussed having to require a whole new hardware states that they're going to take this control IQ to a whole new level. And to me, that's definitely the most exciting part about this new pump. The fact that there's going to be this whole new sophisticated algorithm that's going to be running the pump that requires this big hardware upgrade. So enhanced technology that is by far of everything that I've discussed today, the most exciting new feature for the T-Slim X3. Now, as far as the timeline for the X3, when are we going to be getting this thing? So let's take a look at a timeline that they shared with us at the last event. So the X3 is going to be released sometime after the Tandem Mobi. So I did add that maybe this is going to be at the end of 2022, early 2023. Um, I don't know exactly when, but that was kind of the idea that they gave us. So once the Mobi's released, the timeline that I showed you, they kind of expect it sometime after that, the X3. Again, no specifics, but hopefully in the next year, year and a half, we'll be hearing some news, maybe even the release of the X3. So, so that's all of the information I have on the Tandem, the T-Slim, the X3. It's basically just scratching the surface of what's going to be potentially a great new pump with amazing new features and advanced algorithm and uh, the control IQ. I just can't wait to hear more about it, all of the changes that they're going to be making. Um, thank you so much for watching the video. If you're enjoying the content, please go ahead and give it a like. And if you heard anything else about the Tandem, the T-Slim, the X3, please leave it in the comments and let me know or let me know what your opinion is on the new pump. And thank you so much again for watching the video.